so we're out here in Monterey because I need some outfits for Coachella, obviously, because we're like three weeks away and we're at Peaks of My Heart. And yeah, I'm gonna show you what I'm eating and probably go to Forever 21 and find some outfits there. So look how good the pizza looks. So I mainly got this one because obviously it looks good, but it's aesthetically pleasing. Hello. Tapatio, because you can never have Tapatio. Enough Tapatio. I think I'm gonna start buying my own little bottle and carrying it around. Oh, and this is a little manicure I got yesterday. It looks so nice. Hey Alice. Back at it again, Alice and Low Adventures. What'd you get? Um no, I'm chicken bacon ranch. Pizza. And then chicken Caesar salad. Yeah. Because I'm What are you gonna buy today? Shit, bro. Don't even ask me. Yes, what I'm looking for. Bomb. Dude, under a mesh shirt. Yes. Under a mesh yes. shirt. So I just found the matching slides to my nails. How cool. What's wrong? I'm trying to book out for Coachella. Outfit number one. Outfit number two. Potential outfit. Yes. I don't want to spend too much because you'll see me. Later. Sneak peek. Do you look like a pajamas? I think if I wear accessories, it'll be good. Outfit oh, number two. Sneak peek. got some ice cream cold stone is my favorite ice cream and i always always get the cheesecake fantasy with i think it's like graham crackers and some berries but when it's a hot day then i like to get the raspberry sorbet with gummy bears but yeah what? look what i got from rip and dip yeah, yeah. Sumi's had the hook up for stickers. Yeah, yeah. So today I woke up <coughs> with allergies, which suck ass. So yeah, anyways, I'm drinking this perfectly pressed juice, which is supposed to be good and healthy, and it has like celery and like apple kale so all those green vegetables <laughs> but and today's the next day from where from what you just watched but i think i'm gonna go ahead and um anyway so today i'm not doing anything exciting really so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what i'm gonna make for dinner um i'm gonna try to make like zucchini noodles i think so we'll see um, and then I also don't have a tripod, so, like, for my phone, since I do film my vlogs with my phone, so, um, it's gonna be a little bit hard to show you what I'm doing, so, hopefully in the future, it will get better. So, change of plans, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean my vanity, because there is such a mess. And clean up my filming station too. So yeah, I'll let you guys um, see the final results. By the way, these wipes, um, these ones are from from Mac, the Gentle Off Wipes plus my cellar water. I thought they were gonna be better because they have my cellar water in them, but uh, life update. I feel like they suck, and it's so hard to take off the makeup. So, I'm just going to use these to clean the vanity for now. Alright, so I'm all done. So, I just organized my lipsticks that were falling over. Added some stuff there so it's not all visible. And then, there we go. It's all cleaned up. I need a new um, desk because this one's, I guess it's like fake wood. And it's all peeling. And look what I just found. So yeah, it's clean, even though it looks dirty. But yeah, that's where I keep all my clean brushes. Um, I'm aware they get dusty, so they're not as clean. But for now, they're there. 
Dirty Beauty Blenders, which I need to clean, and just makeup storage. And then my little film setup, dirty towel, don't mind that. So I, these are two little bunnies that I have where I keep all my brushes that I film with. These are the dirty brushes, so these are the ones that I need to take a bath. And then these are just some of the products that I use on a normal basis. So if you want to see maybe like a um, makeup collection video, then let me know and I can totally do that. So yeah, that is it for cleaning today. Okay, so this video is probably going to be like all over the place, but I decided let me show you how I wash these beauty blenders and I use this Sote Jabon. My mom just had it. So I'm sure you could buy it at like any Mexican store. It looks like this. The only thing is that it cleans the these um sponges really well, but I feel like afterwards there's like shit on my hands, like white stuff. And I'm like, hello. Ugh. So I maybe I'm not just maybe I'm not scrubbing my hands right. But whatever. That's not the point. So, anyways, I just come to my sink. Let some water around. Take the beauty blender. And I like to soak it in water first. Kind of like that. And obviously I do this with two hands, but I can't show you guys. But I just kind of do this. I rub it all over. And then you can just see it all come out. Get over here. And it actually works pretty well. This is what I've been doing for, I don't know, the past like six months. Every six I asked my mom if she had this and she did and I was like, oh my god, give it to me. I need it in my life. So, just like that. And it works pretty well. And then also, um, okay, obviously this is going to work pretty well, but... It does the job pretty quick too, so you're not spending hours, you know. However, I don't really recommend washing your brushes with this. At least personally, I don't like it just because whenever I did use it, it made my brushes like the bristles kind of um stiff and kind of um not super silky and soft anymore. So just use it for your sponges. So before and we'll see the after in five, four, three, two, and voila, yeah, clean, 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 and that even didn't even take that long. The only thing I hate is how they get all, um, like the color runs with the dirt and the foundation. Isn't that weird? I don't know, but at least they're clean now, yay. So next, I pop these in a little bowl with just some water, and you guys are probably like, what the heck are you doing? But I read somewhere, or I saw a YouTube video actually, that said to do this and then pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds, not any more, not any less, and that would get rid of all of the bacteria. So I'm not sure how true that is, but since I'm breaking out, I want to have clean, bacteria-free beauty blenders. So let's do this. All right, so in they go for 10 seconds. And you have germ-free beauty blenders. And back in their little homes they go. Do, 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 do. There you go. There you go. And then these little guys, I got them at shopmissay.com. They're just little beauty blender holders. You can stick it in there. So yeah, they're only a dollar. So if you want to grab some, go ahead and go there. So these are the ingredients you're gonna have, or you're gonna need, hello. So, some carrots, 
If you have the shredded carrots, that's better because I'm going to have to cut these up. Zucchini, of course. Bell pepper. These chiles. I'm not sure what they're called. But if you're Mexican, you use this to make chile rellenos. And then some cherry tomatoes. Some pumpkin seeds. And some roasted salted sunflower seeds. So that's what you're going to need. So go ahead and wash all of these. And then you're also going to need one of these tools, spiralizer, to make zucchini noodles. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying to make zucchini noodles today, in case you guys didn't catch that. I'm so sad that I can't show you how I'm doing this. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's like no way for me to show you guys, but maybe if I go like this. I'm trying to hold it and do it, but basically you just kind of twist it. Let me see if I can put it like. So you put it in there and then you basically just twist the zucchini and then you get these spiralized zucchini noodles. look how cool it looks so this is how it looks like um so yeah this is great they're so cheap you can buy them at any grocery store and then it has a thin side if you want thin su noodles i think they're called su noodles right or am i tripping i don't know or you could do thick and then this is how it looks like at the end weird so i'm gonna do one more just because i want to make enough for tomorrow and we'll be right back Okay, so I also preheated the oven to 350 degrees and we're going to be doing some tilapia to go with our su noodles, baked of course. So I'm going to add some aluminum here with some Pam nonstick grease, whatever it's called. And yeah. So next you just want to chop everything up into kind of little strips. Okay, so I just chopped up the bell pepper and then this chile so you want to do kind of like small strips like this and then these are totally going to shrink down once we put them in the heat so we're going to start by cooking these first so you want to grab a pan add some olive oil and throw these in there so just like that so in here and we're just going to let those simmer for a bit um let these get a little bit nice and soggy um and yeah now I'm just going to chop up some carrots. So here I have all of the carrots. Just kind of chop them up roughly. And remember, it's easier if you use the shredded carrots. And I'm just going to add this to the bell peppers. So they're all kind of simmering there. And I'm going to go ahead and stir this for a little bit just so they can get nice and tender. Okay, so I did get a bigger pan right here, so I'm letting those sit there just for a minute because I want to toast some of the sunflower seeds. So in a tin pan with the sugar that was already there, or what the heck am I saying, sugar, the olive oil that I already had in the pan, I'm just going to leave that there and have these toast for a bit. So just leave them on there for a little bit, and then we'll come back and check on those. So here I have my fish. So if it's frozen, you can just pop it in the microwave, but make sure you put defrost. Otherwise, it's going to be cooking in there. And then um, I'm going to be adding some garlic salt to this, some black pepper, and squeeze some fresh lemon juice. Okay, so I like to usually do both sides. So that's that. And we're going to pop these into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. So in they go, and then you can also do a little bit less, whatever 
you think um but you can totally just check on them and whenever they starts to just flake off of the fork then they're ready okay so these are toasting so we'll let the rest of them toast for a bit just like that so these seem to be ready so now i'm going to add these over to my pan over here with the rest of the chilies and carrots so I have my rinsed cherry tomatoes, and now I'm just going to go ahead and cut these in halves. So I already cut up the tomatoes in halves, and we're going to add that to the mixture. And we're just going to toss and saute this together. Now adding the sunflower seeds. Then you want to add your soodles to the mixture. We're going to add some chopped onion. Some red pepper. And we're going to add some Italian herbs, lemon pepper, mamma mia, and some sun-dried tomato and garlic. And finally some garlic salt for added flavor. And this is the finished result. Yum. And it's all super healthy.